The longer you go in a game without having success, I think it makes you tighter and you lose confidence on the offensive side. So they need something here to get them off to a quick start and get them feeling good. Alexander's the one who brings them to the ground. That return's good for about 21. The Rams weren't able to get anything out of their last drive and were forced to punt as they take the field here. Do you think they are going to vary their approach, Phil? Well, I hope so. I think they will. They, they got a lot of information out there in that short drive, Jim, and you do that by showing different formations and plays. You saw how the defense reacted to it. Now you counter-react and see if you can get some positive plays. I'm sure they're tired of being in the three and out business. Well, that's a bad business to be in. I know I get in a lot of bad businesses. Mason, the lone setback this time. A little jumpy there by that defensive front. Encroachment, defense. Still second down. Second down and five. Strong eye handoff here. They are in the backfield in a hurry and will bring him down for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. The Rams offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, but what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job by the offensive line. Loss of three on the play. And it's out of bounds incomplete. Lots of game left, but that stop gives the offense a chance to extend the lead. You said it, long way to go, but get momentum on your side. Find a way to come out here as an offense and put some points on the board. He wants to return this one. The Rams offense failed to muster a single first down the last time they had it. Let's see if their offense this time can create a few sparks. Well, you know the coaches were upset at him when he went to the sideline. So the sense of urgency is there. You should be fired up, and I expect a better drive this time. down at the 27 and the quarterback is tackled by Bruce Irvin that's an awesome job by the outside linebacker gets a sack on the quarterback and nowadays you've got to do it all if you're an outside linebacker you've got to be tough against the run cover receivers down the field and yes plays like that get to the quarterback and that pass is going out of bounds incomplete well, in a situation like this, third long, there's only a few things you can do. Screens always are good and safe. Draw plays are also a safe call. But if you're going to throw it, most of the time you throw it short and hope the receiver can catch it and make a run after it. Looking middle that time, and it's incomplete. The Rams don't have a lot of options on third and long situations. The pass goes incomplete, and the defense did a good job of Staying back there and not giving up the deep throw. Fields it cleanly and starts his return. Alexander's there to make the tackle. And a run back of about nine. didn't get much out of that last drive so now here they come again on offense I'm sure they're going to be a little bit more of an urgency to the offense this time well I'll just say this to you Jim Nance I sure hope so after that last drive that was just too generic wasn't very well thought out and they got to change what they're doing on the offensive side got to give that defense a little credit though don't you well yeah the defense did its job but yeah, that was pretty easy the Rams at the line of scrimmage split backfield 
second down and 11. And it's caught by Jared Cook. And he gains maybe three. The Rams signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. On the way, third down. The Seahawks defense now is going to go nickel. And it's out of bounds incomplete. Hecker is back now. He'll be punting. Set up return. Here he goes. Still on his feet. Good yardage picked up on that call. You got to be tough and aggressive as a punt returner in this league. That time the Seahawks. First down at the 31. Now slashing to the right side looking for room. And it's Earl Thomas who brought him down that time. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. The Rams take it from the 38. They are all over him behind the line of scrimmage and a loss of one. The Seahawks defensive coordinator, my gosh, he is one happy guy. Anytime you get in the backfield and stop a runner and make him lose yards, that's some good stuff. Third and five. Looking across the middle, a nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. That's his first reception today. Well, the quarterback showed off his arm strength that time, didn't he? He put the football right on the money, on a line, right into the receiver's hands. Foles takes a look now from under center. Halfway through the third quarter. A tackle behind the line. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. The Rams come out in a bunch set. Second and 13. And it's the tight end, Jared Cook, on the receiving end. And now he'll dip out of bounds. I don't know what the answer is when it comes to guarding these tight ends now. There's just not much you can do. Uh, I'll tell you the best way to stop the tight end, rush the quarterback. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Mason's taking the handoff. The Rams running back that time, he makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards, take advantage of that. He tries for the big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. Loss of three on the play. Curley's going to take the handoff now. The Rams put themselves in a tough situation here. On second down, you run the football, and what do you do? You lose yards. Now you got third and long coming up. You got to be careful in situations like this. Everything goes into the side of the defense. Third and a long way to go. That's a ball that should have been caught. Well, he dropped the football, and there's no doubt why he dropped it. You have to look it in. 52 yard field goal attempt coming up. The kick and it's through there. The kick is good. This guy. Mason lined up in the backfield. First down at the 20. Kenny Britt pulls it in. Williams there to take it down. The slant route made famous by the West Coast offense, something that really I thought came in the league when Bill Walsh started with the 49ers in 1979. 
now first and ten. And that pass from Foles will go incomplete. The Seahawks with a nickel look here on defense. Second down and ten. The ball is fumbled. Makes contact with the down player, and that's where the play comes to an end. What a lucky break this time. They fumble, but they recover it and maintain possession. NFL teams, the offense, every single day they work with anybody that's going to handle the football. How to hold it. He didn't do a good job that time. That's why he fumbled. As 12 on this play. The Rams put themselves in a terrible situation. Third and long, but you know what? They got a lot of talent on the offensive side, and that was an awesome job of picking up that first down. Foles as completion percentage, 50% on the day. Lays out and makes the play. Hard to guard these tight ends now in the NFL. It really puts the defense in like a quandary. Do we use a big guy? Well, the big guy's not fast enough. We use a small guy. Well, he's not big enough. They get pushed around. I don't know what you're going to do. Just make sure you're a good tackler after they catch him. Quarterbacks love to see a receiver uh, have this type of play. Even though he doesn't make the catch, the effort is outstanding, and he's given everything he has to make that catch. The Rams snap it at the 41. It's intercepted. Got a big lane. No one's going to get him now. The 10. Touchdown. What a... is increased with another touchdown. Well, when you study the offense and you know what they're going to do, you're able to make plays like that. You time the... Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. And that pass is going out of bounds. Incomplete. The Seahawks defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Second and ten. It's complete to Todd Gurley. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. All you can do is your job. And that was a good job by the offense. Picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. That's a gain of six. The defense has a lead here in the fourth quarter, Jim, so they're willing to give up those short completions. Now it's up to the defense. Come up and make the tackle. Good job that time. Foles is completion percentage. 50% on the day. Reaches up to make the catch. That receiver, Phil, is a quarterback's dream. Going high in the air on a high throw and getting the reception. Oh, man, do quarterbacks love that? They throw it and think, oh, my gosh, that's bad. They're, they're ready to chase the defender down with a takeaway. A lot has changed since the opening minutes of this game when it comes to Phil, can you?